Welcome to the Orbital Phone System Extended Edition video tutorial part 1. In the next few video tutorials, I will introduce the Orbital Phone System Extended Edition and I will demonstrate how to install and configure it. So, this is the next generation software based IP PBX that replaces traditional hardware PBX and PADX systems and first generation software PBX systems. I can say that this is the most advanced PBX system you can use in 2014. It is designed to support mobile and fixed communication endpoints and is ready for the demanding requirements of today's software developers and system integrators. There are many advantages of this system, such as easy to install and managed via a web browser based configuration interface, no need to separate phone wiring, supports two-way mobile text messaging with delivery reports and short codes, provides mobility by allowing employees to work from home using a remote extension, and one of the most important features is that Ozeta Phone System Extended Edition provides software developer APIs for the most common programming languages and offers easy IT integration using APIs for CRMs, ERPs, and other IT systems. These were only the most important benefits. For more information, please visit our website, ozetaphone.com. Now let's start the installation. First of all, go to the download page on the ozekiphone.com website and click on the latest version for the Ozekiphone System Extended Edition. Then enter a valid email address and download the software. When the download has finished, open the zip file or unzip it, then double click to start the installation. Click to install, it may take a few seconds. In the first step, you need to enter the admin's username and password. Now in my example, it will be pass123. Confirm it, then provide your real name and email address. In the second step, you can set which SMTP server you want to use for email sending. This is necessary if you want to receive email notifications, for example about missed calls, conference invitations, fax and password reminders. I skip this step now because it can be set up later. And finally, you need to provide some company details. After clicking on the finish button, the web graphical user interface of Ozeki phone system will open in your default browser. You can manage and configure our phone system here. Now let's create a simple example. For this purpose, as a first step, you need to add the web phone, so click on its install button. You can fully customize your web phone according to your needs. You can specify any name for that and you can set the online offline appearance of the call starting button by setting optional pictures for it. And you can change the appearance of the web phone itself. It can be simple with two buttons or it can have a keypad with numbers looking like a real phone but even you can create a totally new unique appearance. By clicking on the OK button, your web form will be created. After this, you can find the most important options on the left side menu bar. By clicking on the Generate HTML menu item, you can get the HTML code of your web form. You can use this code to integrate the web form into any web page easily. By clicking on the test web form menu item, you can test how the service will work before injecting it into a live web page. 
you can see that you can't make calls yet because you still haven't set dial plan rules for your web form. This is indicated by the yellow warning bar on the top of the screen too. To solve this problem, you have to go back to the home page and install an IVR extension. With this, you can provide a greeting message before connecting the actual phone line or even you can build a voice menu system. You can configure it using a special XML script which is called OZML. You can find a detailed guide on how to use it on the ozifiphone.com website, but I will show some examples how it works later. After you have installed this, you need to open the previously created web phone, then specify a dial pan rule using the drop down menu in the yellow warning bar. Specify that web phone calls will be forwarded to this extension. Well, your first basic system has been finished. Now you can start testing how it works. Hello, this is in of the mail script. Now you are ready to try out your web phone on your real website. To demonstrate this process, I created a very simple web page. Its HTML code can be seen here. As I mentioned earlier, you can easily get the HTML code of your web phone by clicking on the Generate HTML menu item. So, Click the Generate HTML menu item and copy the code. Now you need to insert that into the HTML code of your website. Save the source file, then refresh your web page and the call starting button will appear. Let's test how it works. Click on the call button. Hello, this is in of the mail script. With this, you have taken the first steps towards building your own web phone system. By studying the next video, you can learn more about the configuration and customization options. Thank you for watching.